Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you a few ways to use basic compositing in your next video project. Let's get into it. You create a composite when you take two or more visual elements and you combine them to create one seamless image. Now these can be really complex to create and require things like motion tracking, chroma keying, and rotoscoping, or they can be really basic and require nothing more than a simple mask. For this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on the basic method, so all you're going to need is a tripod for your camera and some kind of software that allows you to stack layers and mask them. So cloning is a very specific, fun little trick, and naturally, you won't be using this on most productions, but I actually had to use this trick in some examples for this particular tutorial, so for this reason, I feel like I had to throw it in here. So I have my shot locked down on a tripod, and I'm standing in different locations for 10 seconds at a time. I'm gonna simply duplicate it multiple times, stacking the duplicates on top of each other. Then I'll line them up for the 10 seconds, and now I can simply mask out each clone and feather the mask to cover up any changes in the light. And now I have my multiple clones in my shot. If you have an object moving through your foreground, you can use basic compositing to turn that into a white transition. In this example, I have a wide shot and a close-up of me sitting on a bench. I could simply cut between these two shots, or I can use the person walking by in the foreground of the wide shot to create my transition. To perform this, I'll simply stack the clips with the wide shot on the top. Now I can add a mask on one side of the person, animating the path as it moves through the frame, revealing the underlying close-up shot. This method can also work on moving shots. This example is another great use of basic compositing. Here I'm achieving like a fake depth look. You can see right here where my mask is in the middle of the frame, it's kind of blurred out. That's because I am comping these two shots that both have a really shallow depth of field. And that's to help achieve, to have basically two subjects in the same frame without having to do a rack focus or without having to use a split diopter lens or without having to use a cutaway shot. In addition to faking depth in a shot, you can also use basic compositing to creatively edit dialogue scenes. This is also known as the Fincher method, as filmmaker David Fincher uses this technique quite often in his productions. After I've applied the mask, I have the actor split in post, and now I can retime my reaction shots, or even combine shots from entirely different takes. So it's executed much in the same way as faking depth, only you place both actors in the scene at the same time while shooting. Just make sure that they're not overlapping, otherwise you'll have to get into some advanced compositing methods, instead of using just a simple mask. While you can use compositing to add elements to your scene, you can also use it to take things out. For example, in this shot, I'm going to remove the small microphone you see here on the bench. To accomplish this, I'm going to need to capture what's called a clean plate. For the clean plate, I'll simply grab footage of the same scene but with an empty bench. The shot is called clean because all the subjects are now out of frame, I only have my background here. So this is really where the importance of the tripod comes into play. If I change the shot composition between scenes at all, I'm going to lose the effect and I'll have to reposition things in post. But with the tripod, I'll be able to simply stack the two layers and mask out the microphone. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the Shutterstock channel. And let us know in the comment section how you use basic compositing in your projects. All right, I'm Boone for Shutterstock and I'll see you in the next tutorial.